Hi there, my name's Jane Carnegie from the Save Western Port Community Group. Have you heard about the massive new fossil fuel project that's up for approval in Victoria? Probably not. Well, it's a project to produce hydrogen from coal. That's right, a huge new project that will keep our dirty brown AGL coal mines in the Latrobe Valley operating for much longer than anticipated. I want to let as many Victorians as possible know about this monstrous project. If you care about our environment and the climate emergency, we need you to help fight this absurd and dangerous project. Officially known as the Hydrogen Energy Supply Chain, or HESC for short, this project has been planned for a few years with both state and federal government financial support. Now we need to grow the campaign and ensure HESC goes no further. And who's behind HESC? The three main partners are huge Japanese companies including Kawasaki, Sumitomo and J-Power. Because guess what? The dirty hydrogen is for Japan. And how will it reach Japan? By ship. But first, the brown hydrogen must be sent from the Latrobe Valley to Western Port, where the plan is to liquefy it in a huge industrial site and then ship it some 11,000 kilometres. Western Port is a Ramsar site and UNESCO biosphere. The state government has already earmarked Western Port for its huge wind farm renewables project. There is certainly no room for both projects without massive environmental harm. So far, the Japanese partners and our Commonwealth and Victorian governments have invested some $496 million on HESC, and that was just for the pilot. The pilot was supposed to make three tonnes of liquefied hydrogen, but they couldn't even extract this amount from the coal. It had to be bought commercially. And then the ship carrying the liquefied hydrogen caught fire in Hastings. That's a lot of money for very little and a possible catastrophe in our Western port. Despite these failings, the Japanese consortium and their partners are pushing ahead. They are putting enormous pressure on the Victorian government to approve full-scale production. Commercial production would involve new coal mining, significant energy and water requirements, producing large quantities of waste and sludge and massive new emissions. These new emissions are estimated by the Australia Institute to be between 2.9 to 3.8 million tonnes of CO2. These are new emissions for us, not for Japan. How on earth can Victoria meet its emissions targets reductions of 75 to 80 per cent by 2035 and net zero by 2045 if this project is allowed to proceed? The Japanese consortium and their partners are underpinning commercial production on carbon capture and storage for these emissions. But we all know carbon capture and storage has never worked at large scale anywhere in the world. No amount of spin on CCS will distract from the reality that this project will produce millions of tonnes of new emissions in Victoria and keep the dirty brown coal industry well and truly alive for decades. This project makes no sense on any level. It seems all the costs and the risks are with Victorian government and its people, with no benefits for us. There is no political, economic or environmental licence for this project. Victoria must focus on energy from renewables, including green hydrogen. The Victorian government either stands by its climate change policies or it doesn't. So what can we do together to convince the government to stop this project now? Sign the petition to have a full debate in the Victorian Parliament. Write to the Premier and your local members of Parliament and tell them your views. And write to the AGL board who are supplying the brown coal for this project. If you're part of a community or environment group, show them this video and get them involved or join with the following groups in fighting this project. Please join us to stop this new fossil fuel project from going ahead.